Greetings, I'm Philip Fright Fiends, and thanks for dropping by the Horror Zone. I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, today's video is going to be showcasing um, an item that I've had in my movie collection for quite a while. It's also going to be talking about said movie, uh, which, again, is something I don't see a lot of people talking about uh, on YouTube right now. Uh, this is a movie that I saw opening weekend. It was one I was eagerly anticipating. It features an actor that I've always uh, had a fondness for. He initially was a rapper back when I was a kid. Of course, the Fresh Prince, Will Smith. Uh, grew up loving him and his, his music, uh, the show The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, and was really happy when he broke into movies like uh, Bad Boys and uh, Men in Black and Independence Day and even Wild Wild West, which I know a lot of people hate, but I always thought it was kind of fun. Um, but I really liked uh, some of the dramatic uh, roles that he ended up taking, especially like Enemy of the State, I thought was really good. Of course, his work in Ali is Muhammad Ali. But one film that uh, I think doesn't get enough credit and it kind of just fits into what we're going through right Dealing with isolation and uh, uh, vacant city streets because everybody's kind of just sequestering themselves to their homes right now as we all kind of shelter in place until this uh, quarantine is over. Um, but the movie I'm talking about is I Am Legend. And it's based on the novel by uh, Robert Matheson. Uh, the book, uh, I've read the book. I haven't seen the other adaptions of the book. That would be uh, The Last Man on Earth with Vincent Price and Omega Man uh, with uh, Charlton Heston. Uh, this was uh, the one adaption of it that kept the same name. Some of the fundamentals of it are different, but pretty much what it deals with it takes place years after this plague has kind of ravaged humanity. Um, this plague was created by a man-made virus meant to uh, cure cancer. So it kills off most of humanity and the rest uh, turn into monsters. Uh, in the book it was vampires. In this movie they're kind of a hybrid. Uh, vampires and kind of zombies uh, type looking uh, creature. And then you have the sole survivor in Robert Neville who is a scientist and he's still working to find a cure and he's the last and he's the sole survivor living in New York City. Uh, Will Smith plays Robert Neville. You have uh, Alice Braga as Anna and, and Charlie Thayen as Ethan. The uh, story was by uh, of course Robert Matheson. Uh, screenplay by Mark Protosevic and Akiva Goldsmith, and the movie was directed by Francis Lawrence. One of my prized items that I have, and I believe this came out a couple years after the movie was released, is this I Am Legend um, box set. And this isn't the Blu-ray, it's the DVD. This is kind of, this came out around the time when HD DVDs and Blu-rays were still kind of competing uh, what was gonna be the dominant uh, replacement format for a DVD. Um, this is a great set. Um, I'll show this up close so people can see all the uh, items that come with it. But uh, it has a lot of really cool, you lift it up and it's got a little booklet. It's like a, it's got this book, which is really cool. And again, I'll show it up close. And then it has this right here, it says I Am Legend. It's kind of like a motion scene from the film. And again, I'll show it again. And then of course, here's the movie itself. Here, this is I Am Legend, the ult Ultimate Collector's Edition. You open it up, and it has the, uh, the DVDs. There's three of them total, and this also has the alternate ending, uh, which some people actually prefer to the ending, uh, the theatrical ending. I actually like the theatrical ending more because I think it plays more to the strengths of what the title and the the whole purpose of Robert Neville is in the movie. Um, the last thing it comes with is these cards. Again, I'll show you the. It's really cool right there. Again, I'll show all this up close, but. Uh, also comes with these cards, and I haven't opened these in a long time. They're like postcards of all the different cities affected by the virus. So there's some right here. I thought that was kind of a nice little touch. Again, I'll show all this stuff up close. Um, I've always loved this movie. Um, I understand why some people didn't care for it, but I've always loved I Am Legend. Uh, I think it's Will Smith's best movie. Uh, his performance in this is amazing. You're with one man and his dog, Sam, uh, through the majority of the film. And uh, Will Smith just, it, it takes a, a really well accomplished actor, I think, to hold one's attention and be the sole person on screen that you're focused on. And uh, not a lot of people can pull it off, and I think Will Smith pulls it off brilliantly. I do think some of the CGI effects uh, for the monsters is very cartoonish. Um, that is like a one little small negative against the film, but 
I think the strength of Will Smith's performance against this backdrop of this uh, humanity's last stand and, uh, you know, trying to work to come up with a cure for what has destroyed uh, civilization uh, takes away kind of the generic look of the monsters. I really wish they would have gone with more of a, you know, like Walking Dead, like Nicotero or, or, or get KMB effects to do um, what they've done with The Walking Dead. But again, this was several years before The Walking Dead. It was when a lot of studios and a lot of movies uh, were using, overusing digital effects. But again, nobody knew what would, that uh, practical effects were going to sort of come back into the forefront that you would see uh, The Walking Dead, which is going on 11 years, uh, combining digital and practical effects and doing it exceptionally well each and every season. Um, but yeah, besides that, I still think this is a compelling film with a lot of very moving, heartbreaking scenes. The relationship between Will Smith's character and his dog Sam uh, is so amazing. That chemistry is, is, is something that uh, just it, it pulls at your heartstrings in many scenes. And uh, there's a couple of really devastating moments in this film that still break me every time I watch them. And uh, just with uh, things that are going on now, you know, where everybody's kind of home and no one's really out, um, just seeing the empty streets and, you know, like on the news and stuff like that, it just, it brought me back to this film. And uh, while, you know, I don't think, it, you know, this is the, this is fictitious, um, but, you know, just, I, I, it sort of compelled me to revisit this film and talk about it and share this uh, special edition that I have um, that I really uh, treasure and I'm glad that I got years ago. I don't hear a lot of people talk about this film, and I think it's an underrated classic and uh, one of Will Smith's uh, best films. CGI might not be perfect, but everything else in this film just works beautifully for me. Um, so, yeah, check out I Am Legend. If I gave this movie a rating on my scale, I would give it five skulls. So yeah, that is my review of I Am Legend, a review and showcase of my special edition uh, DVD. Um, if you guys are fans of I Am Legend, let me know what you guys think of the film down in the comments section below. We'd love to hear from everyone. And as always, thanks so much for dropping by the Horror Zone, and I'll talk to you guys later. Take it easy. Stay scared as always. Thank you everyone for taking this time to drop by the horror zone it really means a lot to me that people are supporting what i do here if you like this video um, please uh, hit the subscribe button down below uh, i upload videos at least once or twice a week it would really mean a lot if people would spread the word about this channel um, I this is a passion of mine I love the horror genre and uh, I'm really happy to share uh, my love of it with all of you so thanks so much again for checking it out and I'll talk to you guys later take it easy peace